control. And when we get in there, you know, it's, I'm coming out to Vegas, I'm kind of rolling the dice when I step in that octagon. But I've made all the right preparations, and I'm, I'm really confident. I'm excited to, to get the job done. So it appears you're a craps player. So when yeah. you said roll the dice, yeah. so so I'm curious. I, I don't I don't gamble. I gamble by going to the buffet, as you can tell, looking at my my physique. Uh, when you pick up the die, do you put certain numbers at the top and all that, like some people do, or do you just shake just it and shake it and let it roll? <laughs> Is that the plan for Saturday night after the fight? What's that? What's hit, the plan? After the after the fight, the hit the casino. No, I, I really don't gamble much. I hit the slots sometimes, you know, the, wheel, the big wheel fortune machines. I'll, I'll hit a little bit on that, yeah. but, you know, I'll win like 500 bucks sometimes, but that's about it. 500 it's $85 at Bellagio Buffet. Oh, that's that's a couple of good yeah. buffets. <laughs> <laughs> it's not bad. So, so do you try to do keep the, the fight week consistent, meaning, you know, the same one every time, or do you try to change it up so it kind of helps get through? Or Yeah, it helps to be a little lighter. You know, back in the, in the past, it came in a little heavier, and, I, uh, I'm a little lighter this time, and I, I feel stronger. Or in the past, yet, yeah, especially when I fought at 45, was ridiculous. Um, so I'm at, at 55, a good weight class for me, and I, I feel a lot healthier now. So little things like that, you know, just you know, two pounds makes a huge difference. Coming in fight week, two pounds lighter, or, or being my whole camp, I stayed at the weight that I think I would walk into the cage yeah. at. So that's that's a big thing too. At least at least halfway through your camp, you want to be, or you should be what you're going to walk into the cage at. So I'm not so focused on cutting weight.